there are a lot of advantages and preliminary estimates show that there's a 15% square foot savings in building costs using 3D technologies. But concrete also confers additional long-term savings. It better retains temperature, saving on heating and cooling costs. Concrete is more resistant to tornado and hurricane damage and concrete doesn't burn. While it's being built uh, quickly, uh, it still has to meet the the uh, highly uh, scrutinized um, capabilities of a, uh, of structural design. There should not be any concern raised as far as the sturdiness because it's done quickly. It's done with a highly compressive strength concrete that cures and sets up very quickly. Um, where it's not uh, prone to damage after um, after only uh, portions of an hour. Only the exterior walls were printed with 3D concrete. The inside looked just like a traditional home. You know, my husband is a big car buff and we keep talking about Henry Ford and starting a car and I think people probably thought that was crazy. Horse and buggies were fine. Now we can't imagine being without cars and now you have cars that run on electricity and a battery. So I think 3D technology, as I like to say, is another tool in the toolbox. As the technology makes it to those cultures, that it will it will be embraced far more quickly uh, and 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 implement it on a larger scale in areas which are already accepting of, of this type of a product, whether it's, you know, and, and there's many other countries that, that have uh, concrete, con a lot of concrete structures are prevalent in their, in their culture. And I think it will take off uh, very well and thrive in, in when it's brought to those, to those areas. Structure right now for our house was only able to build a one story but they're coming out with 3D printers that can build multi-stories or duplexes, apartments. So I think that the sky literally is the limit on this kind of technology and hopefully it will be worldwide.